What's up people? Welcome on my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to show you how I was able to catch a very nice selling opportunity on US 30. And this trade happened exactly at half past three. Guys, just a reminder, um, time um, New York market open has actually changed. I should say New York Stock Exchange open has actually changed. It's no longer 1630. It's 1530 so you should take note of that and i was able to take this beautiful trade exactly at 1530 and i want to show you how i was able to take this trade and how everything pulled up and before i move on i just want to also show you the profits that i was able to make on this beautiful selling trade so as you can see i just took like um three trades one two three these were like my winning trades the rest of the trades i was just putting my stop loss too close to uh to my trade and it ended up market hitting my stop losses but let's talk about these three winning trades that you that you are able to see down here and i've been holding these trades for like an hour and i also scaled in right now right here um with i i scaled in like putting more more sales and then the market just dropped to the downside and right now the market is right here and i've already closed and i've already made some good bucks for the day guys i'm already i'm also like trying to make back some of the losses that i made um the past week because the past week has been really really uh bad after the cpi things went crazy and then ended up losing a lot of money so actually pulling up and i need to cover over 800 us dollars which is quite a big amount of money but otherwise let's get back on the charts and see how we're gonna move forward so this is apparently what is happening right now oh the pain of exiting the market and seeing it pull continuing pushing to the downside but it's fine it's okay yeah so i'll just like remove uh these things so that we can start again uh, we can start over so delete everything okay so fine guys uh if you have been following my trading strategy quite long you should be able to understand that um i all usually use this concept of uh order blocks whereby i have an i have an order block i just like take you back i have an order block and then we have another order block right here and then we have another order block right here and then we have another one right here and we also have another order block that may wait in the future right here so as you can see uh the order from the order blocks that we're having and let me just go on a one hour time frame so that this should make much more sense all right so as you can see uh when we take it back to premium and discount i'll bring my fibonacci from this high and all the way to this low guys i am doing this analysis before 15 30 and i'm only entering the trade exactly at 15 30 so if you actually do this and it's not the time please don't enter the market because things might might go crazy after 16 and uh, before i mean like when it comes to 15 30 but at least you can do this after 16 30 15 30 it's fine so as soon as i was able to do this i was able to see that okay fine up here is my premium zone so let me just write it uh, so the 50% will actually divide the premium and the discount area. So up here is my premium. Using the concept of premium and discount is one I'm going to distinguish which um, order blocks to pay attention to. So definitely in this scenario, I'm going to, the market was somewhere around in these areas before it pushed to the downside. I'm going to disregard all the order blocks that are sitting that are down here. And uh, I'm mainly going to focus on these order blocks. So by just looking at, whatever i'm having right now and i was also i also noticed that i have an a gap uh which is an fvg right here that needed to be filled okay i just hope i don't confuse you guys so the fact that i had an fvg up here that needed to be filled i didn't uh, pay attention to this order block because it couldn't just make any sense like focusing on that uh order block and right now i was only remaining with two order blocks which means the first one and the second one and the reason why i was still paying attention to the third order block is because i also had another fvg which is i still have this fvg right here that was giving me a feeling that the market would still push to the upside so this is my fvg but even though uh, i was having an fvg right there and the market there uh, i still had the feeling that mm, no the market would yeah i would love to go that far i would like to come this far 
before it pushed to the downside. Like would come life to come this far before it pushes to the downside. But then I was like, mm, but even though the market is already in the 70% and the 80%, which has got a high chances of uh um which has a high chances of holding the market or giving us more demand to push the market on the downside. That's why I was like, okay, fine. If this one fails to hold, that means I'm gonna focus on this one. But otherwise, uh apart from that, there wasn't nothing that I would say I would do. And it made me actually focus on this order block. So this order block became my point of interest where I was looking forward to enter my trade. So this was somewhere around like um 2 p.m., 3 p.m., uh, 2 p.m., going to 3 p.m. So I was still holding, I was still looking forward on that trade. And when we, the reason why I was also looking for sales is because, like, guys, it's been selling always. It's been selling throughout. It's been selling throughout. And the strategy that I used right here is exactly that I also used to enter this trade right here and a couple of other days and also the one that i used right here so let's let's get back here let's come on a five minute time frame so right here uh when i was on a time five minute time frame i saw market coming here balancing uh this feg which means now we no longer have this feg because the market just balanced and the market kept on pulling to the upside so let me just also fix my time frame so that you should be able guys to see that when i say 15 30 should be able to see what I mean. All right. So uh, coming here, uh, 1530 was exactly around this time. And at that moment, I actually saw the market coming in this space. When the market came in this space, it was already like in my, my, my order block, my point of interest or in my zone, which means price was trading inside the premium zone the 70 and the 80 percent so after that i went deeper inside the smaller time frame so you already know guys if you know me my strategy is quite not the same but i'm always looking for the same things each and every single day and uh, i saw this the market coming here creating a high and then grabbing the liquidity on that high or we can just say maybe relatively equal highs or we can just say trees are bottom and trees are tops and the minute i saw the market pushing to the downside, taking out all the sales that were, all the buys that were sitting on this, all the stop losses that were sitting on this area. I was like, oh, pretty good. What am I going to do? Let me just focus on entering the market on the reversal. That is why I actually came in and I entered more trades right there with my stop loss just above there and the market just went down so crazy. And the minute I actually got somewhere around here, I was like, okay, fine. What am I going to do? Let me add more trades because I had seen that the market had come here, had balanced, and then was pushing to the downside. It's when I was like, okay, fine. Let me add more trades right here. And okay, right, right there. And my stop loss, I had put on the 50. So I was actually like scaling in and also moved my stop loss from right there to this area. And the market just continued dropping to the downside. And this is exactly where I have exited the market. All right, guys. So, yeah, so this is like how I have uh, exited the market. The market just pushed down here and I was able to make like 4% on a single trade, which is really, really good. And I'm very much happy with that. And uh, no, not 4%, but 3% on a single trade. And it was actually a very good trade. And I'm very happy with that. This being a Sunday, I mean, this being a Monday because on Monday markets are crazy. But right now, I'm not looking for any other opportunity. But I, I'm sure that this trade is going to continue going to the downside. It's going to continue pushing to the downside. If not, we'll see. But I still have a feeling that we might continue pushing to the downside. But maybe we might also have some pullbacks. Maybe pullbacks would look like this. Something that I wouldn't manage to hold and yes it might look like that or maybe something that might look like this but i'm not willing to hold those kind of trades but yeah when it comes to 16 30 i'm just catching this big move like one one hour candle then i'm done so this was like the candle that I actually caught and last friday i also caught this candle and the other day i also caught this candle so it's just like that i'm not really interested in holding the trade for the backer for the whole year 
Nah, man. Otherwise, if you like this video, guys, like, like, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I've got more content to share with you and I've got more to share with you, to learn with you. And otherwise, keep it G. Let's meet in the next video. Have a very good day. Goodbye.